do you think that because uh, because the term like we're talking about culture and we're talking about how do you how do you build a, we use the the phrase in the book how do you build a weird culture like a culture that's very distinct and it, you know it's thick you can kind of cut it with a knife do you think that a person can be more or less wired to be a great culture builder do you think it's a learned skill or do you think it's something that is uh, is really more kind of nurtured into you. I think it's an and. I think it can be both. I think it can be mm-hmm. learned, and I also think that certain people have a higher propensity to be able to contain and 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 be aware of of a culture. I was thinking about the term culture today, and you know, at the root mm-hmm. of the word culture, I always joke is the word cult. Uh, now that has a negative mm-hmm. connotation, but you know, what does that mean? It means that people are all rowing in the same sort of fashion and. You know, cultures, mm-hmm. countries have a culture, states have a culture, provinces, regions, cities, neighborhoods, mm-hmm. all the way down to the family unit. You know, and, and we're talking about mm-hmm. upbringing. You know, our family definitely had a culture. And I think that, you know, that it's uh, it's to me, it's both emotional and intellectual. I think it's how people act, mm-hmm. respond, its values uh, in the organization, its activities. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's also an emotional peace. It's how people feel Mm -hmm. and how people in a culture make other people feel that also kind of holds the glue together in terms of the culture. I think that's a way, a great way of phrasing it. There's, there's something, uh, I I think there's something unfortunate that's happened in that somehow somewhere along the line culture, you know, left being this kind of like the, the field of you think of like an anthropologist studying a, a people group, uh, you know, trying not to make contact because they haven't had much contact with the outside world. Uh, and then pizza parties, you know what I mean? Like it's like some, somewhere things fell off the rails. And I think it's because people want to be able to have shortcut ways to just quickly uh, impact, you know, com- common organizational challenges like retention and, and, uh, you know, uh, positivity and, and uh, morale and stuff like that. Let's go inside your culture. Like, let's take a step inside your your team. And uh, and I'd, I'd really appreciate if you could paint as much of a picture as possible. Um, sometimes when I'm thinking about culture, I think about, like, if, you know, visiting someone's house and you, you know, like their house has a smell yeah. and you're like, whoa, wow, that's a unique smell. And they're like, wow, it smells like home, man. You know, there's a, that's what I mean by this kind of like a weird component to it. And so um, if we were to go on a tour of your company, maybe maybe someone other than you is leading us on a tour and, and we're kind of goosenecking looking around. What are some of the things that we're going to see? We're going to what are we going to feel? What are going to see some things that we experience that we might even say, well, that's kind of weird. Like paint us a picture. Kate. Yeah, for me, I'll I'll paint what I would see, and it doesn't necessarily feel weird because to me, again, it's the smell of my own of my own house. It's home. But uh, the feedback I've seen is when people walk in and start to interact with with our team members, and are hanging out in our facility, they would see uh, they would see an excitement. They would see uh, a very warm and welcoming environment from any position in the business, whether you're a technician or a cleaner in the contents facility, or you are in management or or in leadership, you wouldn't really know who's who, maybe because of some of the dress and attire, but you wouldn't feel a difference. Um, There would be a a bit of a feeling of uh, no hierarchy, even though there's a different level of responsibility with every person. You would feel a sense of most people knowing everybody else's names. You would feel a sense of pride. This group takes a lot of pride in, in where we're going as an organization and what we're doing. And you'd see a lot of excitement. There's a genuine amount of excitement in our culture for uh, opportunities to continue to grow and move mm-hmm. along in whatever career path people are in. Outside of that, you'd see a lot of fun. We've got a lot of fun developed into our, our, our new space. Um, and you just see an overall positive attitude that would come from most people who work here. 